Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 10, Circles. We'll take a look at theorem 10.10. .10. Let's read the statement very slowly and try and understand what, is need, or what needs to be done. If a line segment joining two points subtends equal angle at two other points lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment, then the four points lie on the circle, that is, they are concyclic. So let's break the statement and figure out what's been done in the given and what needs to be proved. Let me just grab a chalk. Okay, so you have two, if a line segment joining two points subtends equal angles at two other points. So I have a line segment that is joined by two points, A, B. So I have joined A, B. So this is the first part. If a line segment joining two points, this means segment A, B. Subtends two equal angles at two other points. Subtends Two equal point, uh, two equal angles. So the two equal angles are ACB and ADB. You can see that AB is subtending these two angles, and these two angles are equal. ACB is equal to ADB. Now, what's the peculiarity over here? Is that the points lie on the same side of the line? See, I could have drawn ADB here and ACB, D here and C here, and made the angles equal. But it is important that the points lie on the same side of the line containing the line segment. So here I have the two points C and D such that angles ACB and ADB subtended by the line segment AB are equal to each other. I need to prove that these points A, C, D and B lie on the circle or they are concyclic. Concyclic means they lie on the same circle. So how will we prove this? What we are going to do is see, we have learned at the start of the chapter that through three given points, three non collinear points, only one circle can pass through it. So I'm going to take into consideration my three non collinear points as A, C, B, and I'm going to draw a circle passing through these three points. So let me draw the circle. I'm not really making use of a comp compass or anything right now, I'm just doing it freehand. You can do it if, uh, through freehand also in your exams, especially when you are not asked to do construction only for this theorem, you can do a freehand drawing. So now you have a circle passing through, uh, subtend, uh, circle passing through points A, C and B, these three points being non-collinear. So now, since D is not lying on, let's assume that D does not lie on the circle. So what we are going to do is, that means, if I extend AD to a point E, then this line segment AE so I'm extending AD to point E such that E lies on the circle on the same side of, of the segment. So now and if I join E to B, what do I get? I get two angles ACB and AEB subtended by the same segment of the circle or the same arc AB of the circle. Therefore, what can I say that ACB is equal to AEB. But it's already been given that ACB is equal to ADB out here. That means AEB is equal to ADB which is not possible until and unless D and E coincide. Therefore, since E is coinciding with D and E lies on the uh, on the, uh, e is a point on the circle, therefore D is also a point on the circle and through construction we already have that A, C and B, they lie on the circle. Hence, these four points are concyclic. Now let's go ahead and write the proof along with the construction. So I'll see proof. So the first thing that we did was drew a circle through, th uh, to, through three non-collinear points A, C and B. Draw a circle through points A, C and B given that A, C, B are non-collinear. Let's assume that D does not lie on this circle. Therefore, 
the circle will pass through a point e which is the extension of ad correct then we will what, what we will do we will join e to b now angle acb is e acb is equal to angle aeb why because they are the angles subtended by same segment of the circle we know that angles subtended by the same segment of the circle are equal this is what we learned in theorem 10.9 correct but angle acb is equal to angle adb this is given so you have acb equal to aeb and acb equal to adb right these are equal so equals that are equal to the same thing are equal to each other therefore i will say that angle aeb is equal to angle adb correct this means that points e and d coincide therefore points e and d coincide so why do they coincide and they are not different angles because see if let's say if i have two angles that are equal to each other a e b and a d b correct here they are two different angles but in this case e is an extension of a d so e is extended through point d so it's going like this i have a d and e and here is my point b now what they saying is adb is equal to aeb these can't be two different angles because they are on the same line therefore e is co going to coincide with d or d is going to coincide with e therefore i have e and d coincide but what do we have but e is a point on the circle so now since e is equal to d out there you have therefore d is a point on the circle correct i'll mark this as 1 now from the construction that says that a c and b pass through the circle uh, and from 1 i get that points a b c and d they lie on the circle therefore they are concyclic therefore from construction and 1 points a b c d are concyclic so this was about theorem 10.10 please take a look thank you for watching this video hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies So what are you waiting for subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education